and I want to come in and talk to you guys real quick about the Center for Disease of Control and Prevention for Braiders, okay? So the first things first. For those of you guys who do not know, hashtag pretty gang in the comments and make sure you're checking out my braid here for cash course in the description below. Let's go. All right, so the first thing you need to know, you guys, these are must knows or must do's for those of us who are braiders, okay? Us as braiders, we fall under beauty salons and barbers, so we under hairstylists, hairdressers, and barbers, okay? So when you go look yourself, not look yourself up, but when you want to look up research and information, by the way, I'm going to be leaving a link to the CDC's um, cleaning and disinfecting um, one of their PDFs in the description below. I'm also going to be leaving the link to the CDC information for salons and barbers, and this is where I've gathered all my information, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to know that you fall under or we fall under the uh, beauty salons the beauty salons and barber shops okay the second thing is you need to check your own state you guys the cdc is for all of the u.s however if you want more specific to your city specific to your state you're going to have to do yourself a favor and do your research and you're going to have to go to your uh, state board for your um state and look up, look up their cosmetology, look up their safety and sanitation guidelines. This is going to let you know the do's and don'ts of your state. This is also going to let you know your um, hours of operation. Because what it appears like, you guys, is that we're going into another lockdown. And they are now issuing curfews. Okay? And they're actually starting to uh, do more recommendations. I mean, move away from recommending and more ordering that this is what needs to happen, okay? So, you have to keep into consideration that this is all a risk when you are out here braiding, especially because braiding, hairstyling, um, being a barber, those kind of things is not considered essential. This is a risk. It is not considered essential. You are not a health worker. You are not a um, someone that works in food. You're, this is hair. So, the state... The U.S. it's not considering hair as essential, so keep an eye out for being put again on lockdown. Right? We're going to be put on lockdown again, so keep in mind. But if you are going to continue to do this, make sure you know that this is at your own risk, and make sure that you need to consider things like doing a daily check-in or doing a virtual check-in. So these are examples of things such as um, you have a list of questions that you're going to ask people. Um, before you go braid their hair before they come to you okay and you can either you know do this by just calling and asking maybe you can have some type of questionnaire ready or um for those of us who are even want to be you know a little bit in, more investment but you can go buy one of those temperature checks that everybody the handheld temperature checks now i think they're about 20 to 30 dollars um just so that you can be on the up and up with knowing hey um, I've checked took this person's temperature, you know, you hope they're being honest and they're, they're answering your questions correctly and actively, okay? Um, so that's what you must know. So let's get into it. Now, what I'm talking about now after this is once we are not, well, we're not on lockdown right now, but they are starting to put in lockdown orders. For example, I am in LA County right now. The lockdown curfew is 10 a.m. and in certain cities they have their own curfew at 8 p.m. Okay, so you need to be paying attention to stuff like that. But what I'm going to get into is that if we're not on lockdown and if you are going to choose to um, still braid while, you know, the Rona is out here, you want to keep in mind some of these things. The first thing, you're going to, to uh, the personal protective equipment, your gear. Okay, so this is masks. These are possibly face shields. These are gloves, okay? Limiting the amount of people that are in your space when you are braiding. If you're going to be out here braiding and you know that this is a risk, it needs to be you and the person um, at most, okay? Then also you want to take into consideration possibly doing online payments, right? There's Zelle. There's uh, PayPal. There's all these things that you can accept payment online um, because you don't want to be exchanging cash, you know, touching hands, all that kind of stuff. So you want to be making sure that your personal... Uh, protective equipment is ready some things that i would suggest for you is to definitely and in, um, invest in one of those um face shields i think they're about five ten bucks um i definitely if i were you i would purchase additional disposable masks just so that if your client doesn't have one you have one and then um also i would suggest that you use your disposable mask and use one every time you um are interacting with the client you don't want to keep using the same mask over and over and over okay so definitely take um the personal protective equipment seriously okay 
The next thing, you guys, is you need to clean and disinfect all your things. For those of you guys who do not know, I go in. I have a whole section of clean and disinfectant and sanitation in my Braid Hair for Cash course. I talk about that, okay? You, got, you have to be very careful now. So one of the things that you could do is... Um, so that you can have time to disinfect and clean in between clients, you want to book your clients 30 minutes to an hour apart so that you have time to clean, um, no clients are, you know, in passing and you can make sure everything you have has been disinfected, okay? So these include your, you know, the chairs, the combs, the clips, the brushes, all that stuff you want to make sure you're wiping down and you're cleaning it up, okay? And also if you're going to be sharing equipment or sharing products so this is like with your client you need to talk to your client and let them know hey i'm going to be wiping down your stuff hey i'm going to be disinfecting your stuff this might take a couple of more minutes than it probably would take me because you want to disinfect it properly and you want to give things time to dry and um uh, for the air um to hit it right um and also you want to limit sharing you know materials if, if a client is going to come with their stuff you let you know this is something you guys need to be talking about before like hey come um, you know, I have new combs, I, I have new, you know, new rubber bands, I have new, you want to have kind of like this, you know, more of a disposable only because you want to make sure when you're using, um, items, you don't want them to be contaminated and you want them to be clean and you want to be, um, making sure that you are staying safe as well as your client is staying safe. Okay. And the last but not least, you guys, is that now what? Like, okay, we were on lockdown kind of came off a of lockdown a little less restrictive now we're going back to restrict we're going back to being restricted and it seems like we're going to be even more restricted than we were in the beginning right because it's the um more than the holiday season it's, it's cold season so that means that the rona is out here and it is you know it's the rates are higher now so I'm going to always tell you, and I've been telling you guys, so make sure you guys look at my other video where I talk to you about what you should be doing as a braider. There are additional things that you should be doing um, as a braider so that you can make this online money. You can get this Wi-Fi bread. Shout out to Uncle Uncle G, <laughs> um, Glenda Cameron. You want to make this Wi-Fi money, this online money. And if you're going to be locked down, this is the time to start working on your things. Work on your videos, okay? You can do videos on um, IG, TikTok. YouTube, okay? This is the time if you're a writer, it's time to write your book, write your articles, do your blog posts, um, and, you know, share them on Pinterest so that people can start coming to your site and seeing what you have to offer. Also, if you're good at talking, you can start doing your podcast. You can do it actually on podcast, SoundCloud, um, what is the, what's the new station head, all that stuff. Or you can do podcasts here on YouTube, okay? So it's like, if we are going to be on lockdown and you are a writer, this is the time for you to start doing your thing and start creating online so that in the time that you may not be actually physically braiding people's hair you can still be helping and assisting people with their hair care so again you guys make sure you guys are hashtagging pretty gang in the comments make sure you guys are checking out my braid hair for cash course and also make sure you're looking at the other video where i tell you guys a lot about being a braider and having more than one income out of being a braider see so guys i hope this was helpful and i'll talk to you guys later bye y'all